Hello and welcome to this video tutorial today. I'm really excited to show you a solution in Illustrator for creating half tones where the shape that is the half tone can be anything you like. In my case, I'm going to use stars, but you could use squares, triangles, diamonds, flowers, whatever you like. This came about as the result of a subscriber who asked if this was possible and unfortunately, just out of the box, you can't do it in Illustrator. But those of you who follow me know that I don't like answers that say no you can't and I like to find solutions that say yes you can. So this is how we're going to do it. Now the very first thing that we need to do is to get something that's going to do all the hard work for us. The hard work is turning the shapes that the half tone gradient is going to give us into a shape of our choice. And this is a script that's going to do it. What it does is it's going to go and look for every one of these shapes that we create in our gradient in a few minutes. And then it's going to replace it with a shape that we choose. In my case, it's going to be a star and it's going to scale it to size when it does it. So it's going to do all the heavy lifting for us. The only thing that we have to do is to get this file into a format that we can use inside Illustrator. So that's the tricky bit right now. I'm going to send you to this page. Now, I've tried the downloadable file version of this and it fails. It's got an error in it, but I haven't had any problems with this version. So if we can create this as what we need, we're going to be fine. So I'm opening up the page and here in Chrome, I'm going to these three dots here and I'm going to choose more tools and then save page as. Now, because this is a text file, Chrome's actually recognizing it as a text file. So I'm going to put it in my AI scripts folder and I'm actually going to call it replace shapes. And I'm going to add JSX on the end of it. It's going to be a text file. I'll just click save. Now we'll go to that actual folder. Let's go show in folder and just make sure that it's there. Here it is, replace shapes JSX. As a JSX file, it's now created. If we have a look inside it, I'm just going to open it in Notepad. You'll see that it basically contains everything that was on that web page. And as this version of the file, it's going to work perfectly in Illustrator. So now let's swing back to Illustrator and we're going to start with a new file. It doesn't matter what size your file is. We're working in vector graphics. It's just fine. We do want to add a fill. So I'm just going to click here on the gradient so that we're using a gradient for our shape. I'm going to click here on radial gradient and I'm going to reverse it because I want black in the middle and white on the outside. I don't want my shape to have any stroke at all. That's really important. It's going to mess up your half tone. So I'm going to create a circle, but of course this could be any shape that you like. A circle is probably ideal because the radial gradient will work particularly well with a circle. So I've got a circle filled with a gradient. If you've watched any of my other half tone videos, you might already be seeing a potential problem. If I turn this into a half tone right now, I'm going to effect and then pixelate color half tone. This is the only one that's going to work is the color half tone. I'm going to set my maximum radius to something like 12 and I'm going to set all my channels to the exact same value. It doesn't matter what that value is, but they have to be all the same or else you're not going to get the correct result. So I've got mine set to 12 and I'm using 45. I'll click OK. This is the problem that you might have realized we're about to have. These shapes in the middle all join up and so this is not going to work with the tool that we're about to use. We need to have separate circles so that each circle can be replaced with a star or a triangle or whatever. So let's go into the appearance panel here. We've got our shape selected. We're going to the fill because we need to work on this gradient. Now I'm going to double click on the gradient here and let's change it because it's too dark in the middle. If we make this a lot lighter, then the dots are going to separate and we're going to have a half tone result that we like. So I'm going to double click here and open up this slider. Now at this stage we can just decrease the opacity, that's fine. And you can see that as I decrease the opacity, the half tone effect is reapplied. So this is really handy because you can see what's happening as it's happening. And you can determine if you've got a setting that will separate these middle pieces. And you probably want something that is going to get as close as possible to them joining up, but without them joining up. You might need to zoom in to do that. but. I'm finding that something around about the 70 
mark is just perfect here. So I'm going to click away. Looks like I've lost my screen here. And let's just zoom in and check that everything's OK in the middle. OK, everything's fine. Every one of these dots is a separate dot, so things are good. The problem is that this is a circle with a gradient and an effect on it. And what we need is all these little individual circles. Now, the only way to do that is to go and image trace this, but it's not an image that we can trace yet. So we have to, first of all, convert it into a bitmap. So we'll go up here to Object and then Rasterize. I'm using a high resolution of 300. You can set the background to white or transparent. It doesn't matter. We're going to deal with that in a minute. And I'm just going to click OK. So what's happened now is that we have a bitmap image. So if we go to the layer here, you'll see here that we've actually got image. So this is just like a photograph or a pencil sketch or a piece of illustration that we bought in to Illustrator as a bitmap. Once it's a bitmap, we can trace it. So up here on the top panel, you should already see the Image Trace option. If you don't see it, you can always go to Window and then Image Trace. And what's going to happen is you're going to trace this. Now, before I trace it, I want to set up my settings. So I'm going to take paths all the way to the right and corners all the way to the right and noise all the way to the left. I want black and white as my tracing. You can tap Ignore White. That will help a little bit and tap on Preview. Now, we're getting a warning that this image is too large. It isn't too large. Just click OK. It should be just fine. And Illustrator will go ahead and trace it. And what Illustrator's now done is it's identified every single one of these shapes as a separate shape. It's traced, but it's not yet in those shapes. You can see over here, we just got image tracing. Well, to get it into those individual shapes, we'll just click Expand. And now we've got a group, and inside that group are lots and lots and lots and lots of funny shapes. They purport to be circles, but you can see they're not circles. But that's just fine because we don't mind that. Now, at the bottom, if you hadn't selected Ignore White, at the bottom you would have a shape that would be white. It would be really obvious because it would be like a white box. Just select and delete that. That's fine. OK, so we're on our way. We don't need image trace anymore, but what we need next is we need a shape to be the shape that we're going to use for our dots and to replace our dots with. Now, as I said, I'm going to use a star. So I'm just going to click here and go to the star tool. I've already got this set up with settings of a radius 1 of 25 pixels, radius 2 of 50 pixels, 5 pointed star. Just click OK, and there is my star. Now. The way that the script that we're about to use is going to work is that it's going to replace every one of these dots with this star and it's going to scale them to fit. So we don't have to worry about how big our star was to start off with. We will blast these shapes out of the group. So we are going to select the group here and choose Object Ungroup. So essentially we've got lots and lots and lots and lots of paths with a star at the top. and the shape that you want to replace these circles with has to be at the top. That's the way the script works. It expects to see the shape that you want to replace at the top and every other shape that you want to replace it with down the bottom. So now we're going to select everything. You can just choose Select All. You can press Control or Command A. So you've got everything selected. Now you're going to run the script. At this point, if you've got a lot of things running on your computer, you may want to turn them off because it is fairly processor intensive. You'll choose File and then Scripts and go to Other Script and you're going to navigate to where you stored that script when you downloaded it. So I'm going to my Downloads folder and then my AI Scripts folder because that's where I stored my file. Here is Replace Shapes.jsx, the file we just created. I'll click Open and then we'll wait as this script runs. I'm going to be stuck on this screen for a while because what's happening is Illustrator is actually running that script behind the scenes. And so I'm going to need to wait until the script has run. That's why I said this is fairly processor intensive and so you will find that your computer is going to sort of grind to a halt while this runs in the background. But once the script is completed, you're going to flip back to Illustrator and this is the result. Here we can see that the star has been used to replace every single one of the dots in that halftone gradient effect. 
and so we have a half tone effect that is made up of shapes of our choice. As I said, you can use this script to replace the dots in your half tone with any shape that you like. I suggest that once you've gone to the effort of creating the script and saving it, if you like it and you want to have it accessible, that you move it into your scripting folder. Now I'm going to put up on the screen the location of that particular folder on the Mac, but on the PC you're going to your C drive, program files, Adobe, go to the version of Illustrator that you're using, in this case I'm using Illustrator 2020, go to presets, go to your language, for me that's English US but yours might be different and then go to your scripts folder. This is the folder of scripts that will be automatically located by Illustrator when you go to your scripts option. So let me just go and get my replace shape script and just drag and drop it here and it's now in the list. Now it won't actually become accessible in the menu in Illustrator when I choose file and scripts. It won't be in this list until I close and restart Illustrator but after that it will be there and handy for you to use anytime you need it. Now before we finish up I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. If you sign up for Skillshare you will get access to thousands of classes there including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that this now gives you the ability to create wonderful half tones with any shape that you like and thank you so much to that subscriber who asked the question and got me thinking about how we could do this. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time my name's Helen Bradley, thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.